Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More. We're back at the laundromat and we're going to see how much money we made in the last week, how many quarters are in here. Uh, I've had a couple really good weeks the last month. However, I'm not so sure this week is gonna be quite as good. We do have some exciting news though. We have cleaners now, which is awesome because that means I don't have to do it. Although, the cleaners can be here an hour ago and literally it'll be trash by then. <laughs> but um, the floors look much better, it is much cleaner, and that's really nice to have at the moment. I'm gonna attempt, sorry, attempt, attempt to work on the dryers a little bit and see if we can change prices, we'll talk about that. We're gonna see if we can fix in these other machines that might have issues, we'll talk about that. We'll see what's in the soap machine, the vending machine, the pot machine, all of that. We'll see what's in the change machine too. And of course we'll have the other video on the smaller laundromat that has a car wash working now, um, either soon or maybe you already saw it. Depends on when I feel like posting it. So let's get started, see what's in the machines, and then see what we can do with these dryers. All right, we're gonna check the change machine first and uh, see how many quarters are gone. There aren't that many gone, but I literally just filled this up yesterday. And we haven't taken money out of here since Monday. So this is this week only. We had kind of a slow weekend with only 600 and some dollars in here. Whereas we had been having 900, 1,000 one week. So, hopefully there's more in here than we normally have during the week, we'll see. We like to see the 20s, a few 20s. Okay, so let's see if this works right, or if it just has an error right away. I knew that was gonna be tough. This is probably not gonna be 100% accurate, but it'll give us an idea. 110 there. One twenty there. One forty there. Two forty there. So not bad, but definitely not record breaking. One of the first things I want to do is check a machine that had a drain code. This just happened a couple of days ago, and usually there's something stuck in there. I open that up. There was just tons of soap in there. So I think someone just completely overfilled it with soap and that gummed up the drain, so I just ran it to see what would happen, and we'll check on that later and see if that fixes it or not. So just reset the breaker, that clears the code, start the machine. And there's nobody here doing any loads of laundry at the moment, although something is running. And uh, just my pot machine? No. Yeah. Oh, left. someone left hangers, of course. This is the first, oh, there's some clothes in there. Uh, time in like two months, I've been able to do a live, kind of live, not really live, real time coin collection because people are always in here. So, we can see how it's in. Decent. We already have quarters in there. Those quarters are from the front machines over the weekend. Today is a Friday. So when I come here on Mondays, I check the change machine right there, fill it back up with quarters, see how the weekend was, and then I also empty the front machines up there. Oh, that's a good one. Because they will overflow if I do not change them more than once a week. And that means the machines stop working, and those are our best machines. Although one of them isn't working perfect, it needs a new belt. We have that belt. Now I've gotta figure out how to get it on. <laughs> the next, next challenge. That's a heavy box for back here. I was not sure if we would have a slow week because we had a pretty slow weekend. But I think things were decent during the week. 
And by slow, I mean there wasn't that much money in the change machine. So, so it could have just been, maybe people had lots of quarters already and didn't need to get change, who knows. That one was out of order. Part of the week it had a drain issue. I took it apart. I don't want to leave my quarters up here, I can't forget that. Um, it was just full of soap. So I think, I don't know if someone overfilled it with soap or what, but I took the drain out underneath there, just full of soap. I checked this one too, just to see. Sometimes people still put money in the out of order ones, it's kind of crazy. That's pretty weak. We haven't had like a bad week here though for a long time. I'm not saying I want a bad week, free nickel, but I'm just saying it wouldn't be the end of the world because when we first opened up at this laundromat and the small tiny one I have, it was way more up and down. So we've had been pretty consistent except for some just fantastic weeks. Like the one we had, is that three weeks ago now? And this past weekend was Mother's Day, so maybe, you know, families were nice and tried not to force their mothers to go do laundry at the laundromat, or fathers. Lots of people do laundry here, I'm not trying to say. Only mothers do laundry. I could raise the price on the dryers too. That's just gonna take some time, and I wanna do it all at once, so. I'm hesitant to do that. It's okay. I also don't want to break any of them, because that one, oh, good. I keep meaning to try and get a different motherboard because we have some backups. That's not bad. But I have not done that yet. My list of stuff to do is growing. That one, the door clip is broken. I should have that too now, but I actually didn't bring that with me, although that'd be an easy fix because my schedule got kind of messed up. I was planning to go through the small laundromat this morning, which I did, go back to my office, had an appointment there, then come back here later after I grab some stuff. But my appointment texted me and said they're an hour and a half behind. So I thought I would just come here while I have time but that kind of messed me up a little bit. It's bringing, eh, it's pretty weak. All the parts I wanted to over here. And I'm also doing a conference call for my Blueprint coaching group later today as well. So that always makes it a little busy today because that usually takes about an hour or so. And this one was leaking. Okay, said so it's a constant battle. Oh, that's decent with these machines. We definitely have less than we had last week, unless the front machines are just all the way full, which I don't think they will be. Pretty full, that's pretty good. But, I feel like last week we're to up here maybe, maybe a little higher for our quarters. It's decent too, remember this is just half the week pretty much. But yeah, we're not gonna get as high as last week. Question will be how much will it be? But last week was a good week too. That was better than I thought it would be. Okay. We'll count that up and see what we've got. First, we're gonna do the dryers too. This one, we'll see if any money's in it. Cause I said this last week too, someone not likes to use these dryers without heat. Oh, one quarter. <laughs> so I've just put a sign out that says, out of order, but it works. 
just with no heat. So people do want to use that one. Yeah. These first ones are always the worst. They're the farthest away. Not bad. And it's pretty nice and cool in here too. You know, we still talked to the previous owner for this one from that. Um, they didn't really, they kind of let it go back to the landlord and then we took it over from the landlord, but they still come in and do laundry here, which is cool. But they said the AC was broken and they had spent money to try and get it fixed and it wasn't fixed right. That was out of order. <laughs> um, that's the one with the bad motherboard. Can't get it to program or do anything. But, you know, this is why it's important to know your rights. As a tenant, you know, most of my properties I own and buy and lease out to other people. I lease this one from a landlord, that's not bad. And my lease as a landlord is responsible for HVAC, exterior repairs, things like that. So, I know, hey, it's not up to me to go fix that, it's actually the landlord. But, I've got pretty good connections, and I know the landlord's pretty busy. So, uh, I said, hey, do you want me to have my crew just go look at it, see what's going on, and send you a bill? And they're like, yep. <laughs> so that's what we did. Had our guys come over, look at it. They got it fixed right away. I don't even know what was wrong with it. Oh, that's a good box, that's heavy. So, now we have AC here, so it should be nice and cool in here. So that's, uh, wouldn't be much fun to be doing laundry, because that's a lot of work when you have tons of loads and folding and carrying and all that. Um, to do that in 80 degree temperature, that's not much fun. So I'm glad we could figure it out. Oh, that's a good box too. Not bad. We'll see how much time I have after I do all my counting and all my other stuff. If I have enough time, Maybe I'll reprice these dryers. They're at eight minutes for a quarter now, which is super cheap, incredibly cheap. I just want to go seven minutes. I don't want to go crazy. All right, let's see. Hopefully this is counting down and not stuck. It's counting down. It might be fixed. It might have just needed to run again because someone put gobs of soap in there and it might have just gummed up the drain a little bit. Again, most of the fixes in a laundromat are easy. Not all of them. So we've got some other issues we're trying to figure out, obviously, or we'd have all our machines working. So, all right, dryers, washers, small laundromat money over here. We'll get all that counted. Of course, we'll check the soap machines, pop machine, vending machine, and see how it's doing too. All right, we'll check the vending machine. I don't know if people have been trying to shake this again either. So I feel like, Someone tried to shake that out again, which is very annoying. I haven't looked at the cameras to see. That take a lot of time, but I'll try and get everything situated good. And then if it looks like people are shaking it again, I can try and look back on the cameras, but that's just annoying. That one's almost out of there already. Hmm. All right. Eh, that's not very good. That's quite a bit less than we have been getting. So, first thing we do is test this and make sure it's working. Okay, it's working. Wonder why uh, it's been so much less. We were doing better and better and better, and that is definitely not better. Now we'll see how the soap machine looks, how much soap is gone. Not very much there. A little bit there, so there won't be much in here either. And we did switch it so that the Clorox bleach and the dissolve now match up, which did not happen before, most likely because of the horrible laundromat repair guys who did pretty much everything wrong. I'm not really exaggerating when I say that either, like literally everything. Whoa. Yeah, that's definitely less. A lot less than we have had. Again, 
could just be because we've had kind of a slower week in the laundromat too. I was opening this up and I think I just heard that other washer click and release the door, which means hopefully it all drained and it's working now. Look at their still soap in there. Look at that. Okay, fixed it very easily. This door only had two screws on it. And one of those is like that, so. I know we're supposed to have a bunch of screws somewhere, but we keep losing them. And let's see how this looks. Maybe this one will be way, way, way better. Sure. This is our top of the line pop machine. Only very special laundromats get these. Oh, whoa, we're almost out of Dr. Pepper and root beer. That was not even close to being out last time. And I don't know if I have more root beer. I think I have more Dr. Pepper. Wow, okay. No change down there. Oh, that's awful. That might be more than the soap machine, which is crazy. Okay, well. Wasn't planning to get root beer, but we might have to do that. These are all our snacks we have in stock. We do have Dr. Pepper. Like I thought, we don't have root beer. Lots of Mountain Dew. Okay. I don't have a ton of Dr. Pepper either. This is not even halfway full. I don't know why they make it this way, but there's all kinds of sharp metal pieces all over this pop machine. So not only is it very easy for me to cut my hand, but we puncture pop cans a lot too. I would think that would be like, hey, don't make lots of sharp metal pieces around pop cans. But see, I think I just nicked my finger on something. It's not too bad. I'll survive, maybe. there's more efficient ways to do this but there we go everything else is okay but that root beer is low so let's see how much money we had in the vending machine first like I said this is one of our worst weeks in a while not very good I mean, it's over ten dollars but barely so um, we'll see what's in the, the washer and dryer money but if it's anything close to what's in here compared to normal, it's not going to be a very good week. Now it's a soap machine, which was not very good either. Um, and then we're going to do the pop machine last, because I feel like that might have had the most money in it, which is crazy. That's never happened. But not because the pop machine did so good, but because everything else did so poorly. So <laughs> we'll see what we've got here. I know there's some nickels and dimes in there too, so I'm trying to prepare for that, for them to be flying all over the place and the floor and stuff. And there we go, a couple already. So 64 quarters, but I also have um, at least a dollar in other denominations besides quarters. So that was the most money out of the vending soap and pop machine was from the pop machine. Never happened. All right, now we're gonna check and see what's in the washers. We're speeding this up like crazy so that you don't have to wash the whole thing because it takes a while to do all of this. As usual, I stop at 2,000 quarters and reset it so that my machine doesn't freak out like it does sometimes and reset itself and go to like five bazillion quarters. Um, I could tell from the beginning, like you heard me before, there definitely wasn't a record here. There definitely wasn't as much as last week here. The real question is, was it a poor week, like a bad, bad week, or just kind of a mediocre to normal week from what we had before this really good stretch we've had? So we'll see. I would love to get over 4,000 quarters. That'd be awesome. But I think that is going to be a stretch. So there's my 2,000. Reset that and then keep going. Again, getting another 2,000 would be awesome, but I don't have my hopes up. The change machine has been working fairly decent. I mean, I know you're not supposed to have to feed it this slowly for it to work right, but at least it's not jamming up all the time. So there's about 1,000 but I'm getting low on quarters, so at this point I'm thinking, I don't think there's any chance we're gonna get the 2,000 
hopefully at least 1600 which would be, there we go, $900, and the rest of it, 1781 with a few, 1784 not, it's not the worst, it could be worse, so here's the dryer money, we'll see what this has in it, and then we'll also see what we can do with the dryer prices here in just a second, because we are going to try and change those, because I had time after doing this. Dryers, we always try and shoot for at least 1200 because that's like $300, and that's not 1200 so close. Now let's see what all that looks like on our chart to see how bad it was, or if it was bad at all. This is the beginning. We opened in December after taking it over in September, and I really had no clue what I was doing. I mean, I had numbers the bad laundromat guys gave me for what it would make. Now I realize I couldn't trust anything they said, and they probably had no idea. So um, I think given the circumstances, it's done pretty good and me not knowing what I'm doing really and having some ups and downs with cleaners and different things going on but things have been getting better and better we had kind of our record week there in March that we had a really hard time surpassing and getting past we kind of plateaued and I kept thinking we we're gonna break a record we never did and it's getting a little bit frustrating not too bad and then we had kind of a down week there which was down around almost a thousand dollars then we had some more good weeks again then look at that that was our crazy record week then we kind of went back down a little bit had another really good week last week and then this week we are 1278 so honestly it's not that bad our bad week now is kind of what a good week was two months ago so that's a good sign we're, we're trending in the right direction hopefully we keep things going up and up and up and of course we'll have that video next week and then we'll have a video of the new house flip I just bought today. We made an offer on another house flip today. We'll see how that goes. We'll have the small laundromat coming up tomorrow. And um, I am working on something right now to try and increase prices for next week too, besides just crossing our fingers. And you can see that right now. Okay. This guy's fixed, I'm pretty sure. I could take an out of order sign off, which always feels good, but we still have too many of them. And I'm really hoping those are going to be tr tricky. My plan to have my own maintenance guy kind of fix these and learn to fix them is not going to plan. So I don't know if that's a good option, which is disappointing because I think it would be a fairly awesome option. But I'm not sure how motivated that person is to work on these machines or in general. So I'll have to think about that. But we did get all of these prices changed, which is tricky because they're two different types of motherboards. So they're two completely different programming um, processes and I completely messed up the first one, but all of these are now at seven minutes a quarter. So we'll see what happens next week. Hopefully I don't chase away all of my customers, but it's a very small change. And I know my washers are still cheaper than pretty much anybody else in town. And my dryers were cheaper too. So it shouldn't hurt on that front. So we'll see how all that goes. All right, we're making progress. We'll see um, how much money we ended up having and how we did versus last week. And of course, we'll be back and talk about any issues we have too.